Hi, Karen here. Today is part three of the Witch Saga. I need to give you a bit of an update that I'm actually really, really excited about. I was checking my emails. Ugh. My phone. As I said, I was checking my emails and on May 23rd, I got an email from Witch because remember, I am a member. And in the witch email, it said, smoke alarms that will fail when you need them. I'm going to give you the full video that witch released, which actually gives you four more smoke detectors that you should never buy because they're so unsafe. I will be putting the full video at the end of this video, and I will also be giving you a link in the description below. I was in a state of disbelief when I read that they were doing something on smoke alarms. I thought, is it possible? It's just a fantastic coincidence? I don't believe in coincidences. And I can't take full credit, I suppose. But, oh, my coffee. When I wrote to Witch, the response that I got back was, thank you for your email. Could you please provide us with your membership number? I wrote back and I said, no, you don't need my membership number to reply to my email. Could I please have your comments on this video? And I didn't hear back from them. I also did email the companies that I'd highlighted in my second video. I did get an email from John Lewis to say thank you for contacting customer service and our team will be back to you within 24 hours. So I've been waiting two weeks for that 24 hour response email. So disappointed. I used to love John Lewis. I sent an email to Uber Kids and they sent me back an email saying Thank you for contacting customer service. We will respond within 24 hours. And that was two weeks ago as well. I also contacted Ikea and they said they'd contact me within 24 hours. And that was two weeks ago. Boo hoo. I love Ikea. Now the one that did get back to me was Halfords. They had the one car seat that was a bit concerning to me. When Witch tested the seat, it was tested in such a way that the seat was not designed to be tested under the current regulations. We take the safety of our customers seriously, whatever their age. However, as this is an entry-level seat, there may not be the safety features which would feature on higher priced models. We try to appeal to every budget and this seat would be suitable for occasional use. I don't even understand that. What does, it, what does that mean? You occasionally use a car seat. I'm just thinking absolutely every single solitary time that car seat is used, 100% of the time, there's going to be a child in it. Does it really matter how often you use the car seat? Isn't it more important to think what actually goes in that car seat? Back to the witch email that I got. They actually posted a video on there. Witch testing has found four smoke alarms that would completely fail to warn you if your house was filling with smoke. And all four were unbranded. It's usually only unbranded smoke alarms that fail our tests. Uh, pardon me? It's usually only unbranded smoke alarms. Usually unbranded ones. So why don't you give the branded ones that are also dangerous? Just to refresh your memory, these are the ones that were branded that I revealed in the first smoke detector video. Well done, Witch, for taking a very, very important first step. I... Ooh. Well done, Witch, for taking a very, very important first step. Well done, Witch, for taking a very, very important first step. Yay! Yay! Witch testing has found four smoke alarms that would completely fail to warn you if your house was filling with smoke. 
Our tests are specially designed to represent the extremes of household fires, from a smouldering cigarette on a sofa to a chip pan fire. And these so-called alarms have failed to detect smoke during all eight tests. Following our tests last year, eBay removed more than 100 listings of this smoke alarm. But searching again today revealed more than 60 listings of this alarm on eBay and many more on Wish.com. The dangerous alarms are all unbranded and we've seen them listed under various names. There isn't a surefire way to identify one, but we found three standout characteristics. Each of the alarms that failed our tests were made in China and sold by Chinese sellers on marketplaces, eBay and Wish.com. Two of the four models had very little English on the packaging and instructions. And all four were unbranded. It's usually only unbranded smoke alarms that fail our tests. We contacted eBay and Wish.com and this is what they had to say. If you're concerned that you might already have one of these dangerous alarms, our advice is to remove the alarm and contact the seller to request a refund. And when buying a new one, stay clear of any that fit the descriptions of the dangerous alarms that we tested. For more advice, see our full investigation.